So you have the human rights, and then you have the digital rights, but there's something new now. They're the neuro rights. Neurotechnology is coming up. Brain-computer interfaces are already here, and tomorrow they will be everywhere. Now, this has a lot of positive sides, but of course it also has some inherent dangers. And that is why in the United States, at Columbia University, they developed the five neuro rights. Now, for all of these five neuro rights, I developed a neuro right arcade that lets people experience what it would feel like to live in a world full of BCIs, but without ethical frameworks. Mental privacy, we have personal identity, free will, equal access to mental augmentation, and protection against algorithmic bias. About 10 years ago, I came for the first time to Ars Electronica in Linz. And this summer in July, I came for the first time as a, an artist to the Future Lab. And I was flabbergasted. It's a beautiful place full of interesting people, a lot of tools you can use. So I'm hoping to have future collaborations, not only in Linz, but also on other places in Austria, Europe, the world.